Okay, let's talk about Mark McCloud's Alice Through the Looking Glass. The real name being Through the Looking Glass, but everyone calls them Alice. Okay, so I have almost all the colors, but two, which are the tan and the forest green, also known as uh, uh, dollar green. So this is the uh, lime lime uh, color. This one is signed by Mark McLeod. Uh, we can see the the pairs here. They are quite clean on this on these colors, but uh, older ones are really messy. So this is the mustard color. This is a cream color, pre pretty recent, recent one. You can recognize the curves from the cloud. And this one is signed by Anshogin. It's another cream, regular one. Nothing special. Pretty recent. So this is a kelly green, kelly green color. So you see, it's not the same color, but it's very hard to tell on pictures. With the Alice, uh, the colors are very hard to to differentiate on pictures. So here you can see the difference between the cream and the kelly green. Don't get fooled by the eBay sellers saying that they have Kelly but uh, you receive a cream. But this is the pink same by my cloud. So the pink are, are not so hard to get I have actually several of them. Electric blue. So I got an electric blue from uh, someone quite famous in the circles, but the signature is very dodgy. You can see it's been signed in blue on the bottom and then re signed in black over it. So I don't know if it's a real signature or a fake or, uh, or Mark did sign in blue and so that you could not see it very well and re-signed over it. I have no idea what happened. That's kind of dodgy from a dodgy seller. This is the orange one. I don't know, there's always a... Uh, um, Questions about orange and uh, this. orange and chocolate. Below is a chocolate. You can see there's a slight difference, and once again on the pictures, it's very hard to tell the difference. So you have to compare both. So the chocolate ones are uber rare. So if someone sells a chocolate make sure that you can exchange it if it's not one the orange one it's it's more flagrant on the back this is chocolate and this is orange chocolate orange the chocolate is a borderline borderline uh, red blood color in real in the real see orange chocolate orange So this is a quite rare, uh, very old uh, red edition, Red Alice, this one is signed also, 
those were supposed to be dipped at uh, 1000 mix but that's the legend who knows really so, very nice very uh, fragile fragile I, just, I don't know in English which way you have to say it um, it's very thin the perfs are very uh, crooked uh, it's like it's gonna fall apart but it's not and uh, those are uh, very old and also the difference with these sheets the red sheets and the regular sheets it's the size quite a regular Alice red ones the real ones are bigger bigger than regular older Alice all the um, the OG, <laughs> I was gonna say, all the the old Alice, uh, the, the the red, the um, forest green, and the uh, lavender like this one uh, are a bit a little bit bigger than other uh, Alice. This one also has a very dodgy uh, curves. It's very old, very fragile. And uh, very thin. Yeah, this is the lavender, not to be mistaken for the glitter or uh, purple, which is this one. You can see the difference better on the back. Yeah, this is purple glitter, and this is lavender. And also to make a difference with the pink, this is pink. This is lavender. Okay, for this and uh, to finish, I have a special edition uh, uh, that was uh, I don't remember which year I made it with Paul Guest. You can hear, you can see on the picture. Mark McLeod signing the sheets uh, with Sid, the Paul Guest dog. And uh, you have two colors of signatures. This one is uh, silver, and he signed also half of the pack with a gold, golden, golden pen. Uh, it's number on, on 100, but the legend says that there's in fact only 99 that were signed. And the uh, first half, uh, 1 to 50, were in silver, and second half, uh, 51 to 99, were in gold. Uh, I don't know if uh, Mark McCloud can confirm this, but that's the story that goes. And here we finish for this Alice review. If you have any questions, any comments, don't uh, hesitate to do so below, and please. Uh, Subscribe if you subscribe to the channel if you want to get more news about Lotter Art and collecting. Ciao.